Hello students welcome to noble digital class we look forward to your utmost attention and dedication towards your class at your noble platform using of technology in excess may be harmful for your physical and mental health to reduce its aftermath yoga and meditation is recommended students should practice these regularly Please watch the video for 30 to 40 minutes only. Then take 5 to 10 minutes break. Close your eyes and recall the content taught by your teacher. This short break will be quite relaxing for your eyes. Hello students. Uh, last time we were at uh, page number 43. Uh, that he was desperately waiting uh, for uh, the assistance, uh, but uh, they never came. They never came. Uh, let us start the today's uh, lecture with uh, a positive thought. And uh, today's uh, positive thought is: mistakes are uh, the part of uh, the dues one pays for his life. Okay, mistakes are the part of the dues which one person pays for his life. As with that thought, let us start. I am catching the action from page number forty-three. Uh, page number forty-three. Uh, first para, second para, and the third para. Here we go. Yet, uh, when he opened the door of the guest room in the morning, there was the young man again. He was very gay. And now you see, now the night also went uh, 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 past without any happening, according to the wish of the Tassadaw and the. Wife Anna. So when three nights gone by, desperate nights, two three nights. Let me tell you, he was very much crabby, he was very much grouchy, and he was very much frustrating, irritating, and distressed also. That how person uh, like Chandra uh, Takima uh, can forget his promise to send his uh, private assassin when the matter was so uh, resonant, when the matter was so serious. How Takima uh, can take the thing for granted that much carelessly? Uh, was it uh, uh, the carelessness on his part, or who knows uh, the lack of dereliction there, or it was a sheer example of dereliction of duty on the part of a general? Yet when the man opened, uh, he, uh, yet when he opened the door on the guest room in the morning, there was the young man again. He was very gay. Tom was very gay. Gay here, happy. Gay here, happy. Previously, it, the word "gay" is used. Huh? Here gay, happy. Tom was very gay. Tom was very happy and had already washed his uh, 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 washed and was now on his feet. He had asked for razor yesterday and uh, had shaved himself. And today there was a faint color in his cheeks there. So yesterday only he had asked for a razor. So he has cleaned his shave out of the razor. And he has taken bath also. So obviously, uh, when Sadao looked at his face, he could see uh, the res restoration, revival of the red color into his cheeks. It means, uh, as he was recovering very speedily, therefore he could see the blood was uh, there returning back, okay, into his skin as he was really getting strength day by day. And he could see the rosy uh, color. Okay, in his cheeks, good sign. Okay, for the passion that he was really getting invigorated, he was really getting invigorated day by day. Few days back, he was lying absolutely languished, and now he was an invigorated person. I am well, he said joyously, happily, joyously, happily. Tom said that. I am very sad that now he was really feeling at the top of the world. He was really feeling uh, very happy. So now drew his kimono uh, around his weary body. He would not. He decided suddenly go through another night. Obviously, so now who was there in his nightgown? That is kimono. Kimono is a traditional Japanese outfit, and uh, so now was wearing obviously weary body, tired one. Why weary? Because he could not sleep well at night. Also, therefore, morning time generally the people do get fresh air. Okay, feel fresh, but he could not because he could not wink, blink last night properly. Not last night for past three nights. 
they were the desperate nights for him. Therefore, okay, he started drawing the kimono on his tiring body, exhausted body, and said what? And thought that he could not sustain, he could not tolerate, he could not bear one more night, okay, for the sake of Anna. Means three nights he waited for assistance to come, they never turned up. Then he decided something else. And what was something else? It was not uh, that he cared for this young man's life. Uh, no, simply it was not worth the strain. It was not so, means whatever he wanted to do, okay, for uh, Mr. Tom. It is not so that he wanted to do something great, uh, okay, uh, for Mr. Tom. And he started uh, uh, having a personal liking for Mr. Tom. But whatever he is going to do next, not because he was uh, liking Tom, but his presence was not worth it. Stress, strain, stress, strain, anxiety, tension, nagging presence was the presence of Tom at his home. So he wanted to get rid of that particular nagging presence of Tom by all means not because he started liking Tom. But for the sake of Anna, he wanted to get rid of Mr. Tom at all cost. You are well. The last word was worth the strain. Stress. He could not undergo another stressful night. Meaning of that. Therefore, he said to Tom, You are well. So now I agreed. He lowered his voice. Now he started talking with Tom with a low speed, with a low pace, so that other person in the home cannot listen. Almost murmuring he was. Started uh, lowering his voice and said, You are so well that I think if I put my boat on the shore, on the coast, shore here, coast, because I told in the beginning, where was Sadao's hockey house was situated? At, at the Japanese sea coast there. So obviously neighboring uh, uh, place, uh, on the periphery there was a uh, long sea beach, just uh, at the back of uh, Sadao's uh, home and he was making it clear to Tom that you are well, Sadao agreed, he lowered his voice, you are so well that I think if I put my boat on the shore tonight, okay, with food and extra clothing in it, you might be able to row, uh, float the boat, here yeah, row to drive the boat, huh? row the boat, a uh, little island not far uh, from the coast, it is so near the coast that it has not been worth fortifying there. And now, here fortifying, okay, means nobody can suspect, nobody can doubt anything bad, anything harmful, and anything anti national thing may be uh, taking place to that island. It is so close uh, to that uh, Sadao's home. So now he wanted to tell in a very plain language, very simple term, that Tom, you have recovered well. Your presence is very nagging, very uh, uh, much detrimental for me, dangerous. You are a big threat for me and my children and my wife. Therefore, I thought today that tonight I would be giving you my personal boat and I will be giving some all other needed stuff also. Food will be there, clothes will be there, water will be there. I will be giving you each and everything with my personal boat and you are supposed to go to that island. Okay, so out of his finger, he told him that Nabling Island should be his next destination. Or he will be helping him, okay, uh, Mr. Tom, to go there, to reach there. What type of help? He will be giving his private boat. He will be giving him food, bottled water, cloth also, cloth also. You are well, said so I agreed. He lowered his voice. You are so well that I think if I put my boat on the shore tonight with food and extra clothing in, you might be able to row the, uh, that little island, neighboring uh, island to my home, not far away from the coast. It is so near the coast that it is not, uh, it has not been worth fortifying there. It means nobody uh, in the country Japan can have, any, can have any doubt that any obnoxious uh, thing may be there, unpleasant thing can be there. Any person okay, who doesn't think nice for country Japan can be residing there. It is so close there. Huh? For the fine, okay, uh, no, uh, nobody lives on it because in storm it is submerged there. It, it, the, these are not stormy days, but when it comes to stormy days time, that island gets submerged. So people of the neighboring uh, places of Sadao's home, they
they were quite sure, they were quite safe, they were quite certain, they were quite confident that nobody lives in that particular island. Which island? Where Sadao was asking Tom to go by his private boat. Why? Because it was very close. Secondly, during a stormy season, the island gets submerged, goes under the water. Submerged, goes under the water. Okay. But this is not the season of storm, my dear. You made it clear, Tom, that I'm not sending you to a risky island where you, you go and suddenly the island gets submerged. No, no. It is not the stormy season, uh, mind it, and you will be all safe and secure there. You could live there until you saw a Korean fishing boat pass by. They pass. Korean fishing boat. They refer to Korean fishing boat. Korean fishing boats, they pass quite near the island because the water is many fathom deep over there. Fathom here, measurement. Okay. Uh, uh, to, of what? To measure the depth in ocean. One fathom equals to six yard. Six yard. So he was making it clear that you can see the island there. I will be giving you this boat, food, clothing, this and that. And water over there is very fathom deep, very much uh, profound. The water level is there, and many times the Korean fishing boats are seen. Okay, especially the fishermen generally uh, come because uh, because water is so profound. There are plenty of fishes, plethora of fishes. They can they come uh, to catch those fishes there. So you are supposed to go there, and from there only you are supposed to catch that one of the Korean fishing boats there. Uh, they pass, Korean fishing boats pass quite near the island because the water is many fathom deep there and the young men stare at him. Now uh, that uh, particular conversation, the manner Mr. Sada was speaking those things really made uh, Tom happy also and bit doubtful also. The young men stared at him and started guessing, staring, guessing at Sada, slowly comprehending. Obviously like uh, a child nods or shakes his head now when the teacher teaches him. Have you got it better? So the students say yes, like that. So he was nodding his head in order to comprehend, understanding, comprehending, understanding. Do I have to? Means do I have to leave? Uh, as, as you say so? He asked. I think so. Sadao said. I think. Uh, okay. Likewise, that you must leave my home right now. Tonight must be the night. Sadao said gently. You understand? It is not hidden that you are here. And let me tell you, uh, Mr. Tom, that your presence, okay, is a big threat for me and my family. And it is not hidden, okay, that you have been sheltered by me. So now you have recovered well. There is no problem whatsoever. You can get uh, your recovery ahead uh, at your own country, America. And now I am uh, all set to help you out, okay, for your escape. For your escape. The young man nodded, shook his head, nodded, shook his head in perfect comprehension. Now, he really has understood the entire planning of Mr. Sadao. And he, yes, he nodded his head, he shook his head in uh, absolute uh, understanding. Okay, sir, he said simply, I'll be carrying out as you say so. I'll be doing what you say to me, what you have asked to me, sir. Sadao didn't see him again until evening. As soon as it was dark, he had dragged the stout boat. Stout? Stout boat. Stout boat. Now, daytime, okay, uh, went by without any unusual happening. It escaped in uh, the evening hours. Huh? Now, down to the shore and it, uh, in it, he put food and bottled water. His personal stout, strong boat, obviously he has uh, taken at the sea beach, at the coast, and tied it with a pole or a post. Pole or a post. Then inside of the boat, he has put some bottled water and some food and some clothing and some clothing. Okay, he had put some water, food also, bottled water, and he bought secretly during the day. And why it is mentioned that he has uh, purchased water and food from outside so that Anna could not have any idea about this uh, uh, the escape of the enemy. He wanted to keep it from Anna and each and every one till the problem removes, till POW gets off uh, his uh, home. Huh? Security during the day, uh, okay, what that he about security during the day, as well as two quilts, two blankets, quilts, 
black head because you never know that when trout will be able to catch those foreign fishing boats it may take a day or two it can take several days also so some uh, uh, articles some uh, what can say things okay uh, must be there okay with mr tom okay to to sustain to survive on that island so two blankets he had bought uh, at a pawn shop uh, pawn shop actually uh, generally doesn't deal with these goods uh, like uh, quilts pawn shop are those shops which gives a loan to the people after having some personal uh, what is a property okay as security with them so they take something maybe some gold maybe some property a uh, document and gives loan to that particular person such shop known as pawn shop so he has purchased this stuff from a pawn shop and uh, the boat he tied it to a post a pole post here pole why he had to tie his private boat to a post or to a pole or to a pillar or to a pillar because because the tide was high because the tide in the ocean tide the rising water towards the beach is called uh, tide or when the water ebbs e double b it goes back because uh, the obviously because of the wind okay uh, the tide goes high in the ocean therefore in order to stabilize in order to mobilize his boat he had to tie his boat to a post pillar post or a pillar there was no moon and he worked without a flashlight so whatever uh, uh, execution of the enemy's escape or the plan was uh, been done uh, by mr sadao he had to do it without uh, using any light because at the sea beach had he used those light it could have uh, uh, drawn or attracted the attention of the neighboring uh, people there so entire plan was executed amidst darkness amidst darkness no flashlight even he used flashlight flashlight is that light which was used by mr sadao whenever he goes for an operation or uh, some sort of medical assistance to give uh, uh, to general takima he uh, just put he tethered that thing on his forehead surgeon's light here yeah, a flashlight surgeon's light which he tethers on his for uh, forehead when he came to uh, the house he entered as though he uh, were uh, just back uh, from his uh, work and sohana knew nothing now entire day he was outside to get uh, from the pawn shop the quilts he purchased food he purchased okay from other uh, shop there he behaved like that when he returned back to home in the evening na he didn't give any chance okay any gesture to hana that he was busy in doing these things there so as a normal uh, day he just uh, goes outside or in the same manner he uh, got into his home so that hana had got no idea okay what has done okay uh, uh, what has been done uh, by uh, her husband that day when he was out of his home uh, you mean okay when he came to the house he entered as though he was just back from his routine work and so hana knew nothing you mean he was here uh, today now now the evening time maybe supper time okay evening meal is taken by the couple and the conversation started on the dining table straight off hana said you mean he was here today she said as she served his supper now evening meal was ready supper evening meal was ready and sada was taking his evening meal that is supper and he was informed that during because during the day sada was out of the home because he was arranging all those stuff there in enemies escape relation stuff and now he was told by uh, uh, hana that uh, in his absence during the day time you may came and uh, you know that she served his supper Though she was so modern, Hana was so modern. Still, she did not eat over them. Maybe uh, you can call it a tradition, or a custom, or a convention, or orthodox. I will tell. Uh, I will take that thing as an orthodox there. Though she was a modern girl, but still, being a wife, according to me, she should have a, a, a what can say, a, a taken food, okay, with uh, her husband only together. But she never ate with Sadao. First, she made sure that Sadao has uh, had his dinner or his food. Then only uh, she ate afterwards there. Truly uh, conventional stuff there, but orthodox also. Okay, uh, how many girls who are listening? Okay, uh, are just uh, taking this uh, particular thing as a justified one? Speak it up loudly. 
You mean uh, uh, Musira? She said, as uh, she served him supper, though she was so more than still, she did not eat with him. Okay, then she, uh, she ate afterwards. When she saw, husband is finished. Husband is finished, meant food has been finished. With him, you may cry over the baby. And she went on with a sigh. She misses him so. And straight off, okay, uh, he was told by Anna that in his absence during the daytime, okay, Yumi came and she was really very much uh, distressed. She was very much unhappy, missing uh, our two kids badly. And obviously, wishes to come our home. But due to presence of the Tom, obviously, she would not be turning up. She would not be turning up. She went on with a sigh. Sigh when somebody takes a deep breath out of uh, dissatisfaction, like that, like that. So she took a deep breath while speaking that she misses him so. And obviously, uh, each and every one was missed uh, by uh, that uh, Yumi, uh, the nanny, the nanny there. Okay, she uh, misses him so. The servants will come back as soon as the foreigner is gone. So outside that, okay. So in order to solace, in order to console his wife Anna, okay, you need not worry, Anna. In a day or two, uh, the whatever you want, okay, now it will uh, be done there. Just wait uh, for a day or two. Once this POW is removed out of our home, those uh, servants who have left, okay, will come. Will come certainly, Anna. Certainly, Anna. He went into the guest room that night before he went to bed himself and checked carefully the American's temperature. Now it was uh, a Oreo time, farewell time, goodbye time. It was all set for Sadao to bid farewell okay, to his uh, passion, POW, for good, permanently. For good, permanently. So before his uh, passion goes out, he has to be, be, be a doctor, being a surgeon, he has to take the pulse. Okay, check the pulse of the temperature of the passion, the state of the wound, whether he has been able to recover from his nickels or not, and his heart and the pulse there. So each and everything which was needed to be done was checked by Dr. Sadao. Pulse also, heartbeat also, temperature also. And while his uh, observation going on, what he deduced, what he came to know, the pulse was irregular, but that was perhaps because that because of the excitement. Pulse was a bit in uh, what can say uh, not constant, bit irregular. Not because of uh, the weakness he felt, because of the excitement of the freedom. Come on, man. So what can be uh, the, the, the what can say a befitting a more befitting reason than that of uh, your freedom, man? There, the moment uh, Tom came to know that he is about to set free. Obviously, the excitement was enormous. The zeal and the vigor was so bad, the pulse got irregular. Not because of the weakness, because of the excitement, because of the fervor, because of the vigor which he uh, felt uh, as he was about to set free, lap free. Except the German's pale lips, uh, lips were dried up because of the weakness there, obviously, were pressed together in his eyes burn. There was a burn here, there was a spark of happiness, there was a glimmer of happiness in his eyes there. Huh? But her, her lips were still very pale, very much weak, very much dry. Huh? Only the scars, injury marks, scars, injury marks, only the scars on the neck were red. Again, because of that excitement, because of the blood pressure was so great in his body, he was feeling at the time, uh, the scar which was dried up so far suddenly got crimson, reddish, crimson, reddish. Not because again I repeat because of the weakness or because of some other reason, because of the excitement of the freedom, these were the, what can say, outcome that was the repercussion on his body there. Huh? I realize you are saving my life again. He told Sadao and then before he quits, he wanted to say his ultimate uh, gratitude, he wanted to say his ultimate thank to his uh, 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 doctor, to his surgeon. I think you are saving my life again. It's the second time. First time, when he saved his life, when he, he came to his uh, home in that close in dying condition. By making an instant surgery, he saved his life. And second time, after getting recovered, Dr. Salah could have handed him over to the police of the army, but he didn't do it. It is second time. It is second time. Uh, Lama Sadao said, he told Sadao, not at all, uh, no need to thank me, I am not saving your 
like because I like you very much. Not so I'm saying it is not only it is only inconvenient to have you here any longer. So don't give me thank because I'm not doing that thing because I uh, I started having a liking or sympathy with you. Your presence is a negative presence here. Your presence is giving us a lot of inconvenience there. Your presence gives us a lot of danger. Your presence is a threat for us. Therefore, I am just helping you in your escape. So, no need to give time to me. Okay, you any longer? He had hesitated a good deal about giving the man a flashlight, but he had decided to give it him. After all, it was a small one, his own, which he used uh, at night when he was called by General Takima. When he was called by General Takima. So, his private boat he gave. His, uh, uh, what can say, uh, what, uh, his food given, bottled water given, quilts given, and even uh, when he was giving his surgeon's light, which he uses whenever General Takuma called him at his palace during night time, he hesitated whether should I give this less light to Tom or not. Eventually, he decided, let us give, let us give. Uh, uh, but eventually he gave his flesh life which he used when he was told by General Takima at his palace, especially during night time. Now, two instructions are given. Please underline those two instructions carefully and uh, try to write it in your copy also. Before uh, Tom quits, okay, he was given uh, some instruction by Dr. Sadao. Please underline it first of all. If Sadao is a speaker to Tom, obviously, if your food runs out, Sadao asked uh, uh, Mr. Tom, if your food runs out, gets finished, runs out, gets finished, okay, uh, out before you catch a boat, before you catch
Thanks to you.